In remembering and celebrating what has come before, Renault introduces a flying car that we'll be covering in this video. Stay tuned to the end for our list of honorable mentions. What we now widely call cars have gone through a long and storied history. It was around a hundred and forty years ago in 1886 when Carl Benz patented the Benz Patent Motor Wagon, the first car. Cars became widely popular in the 20th century and quickly defined the American lifestyle. The invention deeply impacted businesses, city plans, and society in America. And for the last hundred or so years, that has still remained the case. From the time when Route 66 was paved to the dawn of the era of alternative fuel, automobiles have been a pillar in that evolution. But what about the future? Will cars follow us there, or will we move beyond what they can offer? Like us, automobiles must adapt and evolve into something just a bit more exciting. That's precisely the sort of transition that Renault is trying to showcase with their latest rendition of a classic they call the Air 4. Twenty twenty one marked the sixtieth anniversary of a Renault classic, the Renault four L. According to Renault, this model sold over 8 million units in over 100 countries for 30 years. Even today, you can still see the old classic rolling around in Europe. Combining what could be with what was, the Air 4 holds a stark contrast in its design. No longer constrained to the roadways, the new rendition seeks the sky. Combining what could be with what was, the Air 4 holds a stark contrast in its design. No longer constrained to the roadways, the new rendition seeks the sky. With an old-school 4L chassis and an X-frame with four dual-blade propellers at each corner, the Air 4 strikes a desirable look. Those propellers are powered by 22,000 mAh battery packs, with a total capacity of 90,000 mAh. Lacking wheels and a door, a pilot would simply climb atop the rig and through the back of the hinged shell, once airborne, the Air 4 tilts forward 45 degrees or more and has a top horizontal flying speed of around 58 miles per hour. However, its takeoff speed is 31 miles per hour. Although, we don't know how long this car bird can stay in flight or how the pilot operates one of these, Renault says that a maximum altitude reaches about 2,300 feet. Since this is only a showpiece and we may never see traditional production, it is a unique take on the EV toll. We could see something like this from other companies. If you wanted to get a look at the Air 4 yourself, in person, it has retired to the Atelier Renault store in Paris for the rest of the year. Next year, it will take a flight out to Miami and New York, and then later it will go through China. If flying cars weren't enough for you, then as an honorable mention, let me introduce the LMV 496 from Lazarus to you. This motorcycle can cruise the streets in style akin to the Bat Cycle, then in 60 seconds convert itself into a fanciful flying form. The LMV 496 is a stylish motorcycle with around 62 miles of range when cruising the streets. It is a powerful personal vehicle getting about 1,300 horsepower on takeoff in the air. If you'd like to see more of this Kevlar composite bike, just click the card in the top right corner or the link we conveniently put in the description for you. The Concepto Millennia is the world's smallest flying car. It was designed by a Filipino inventor collaborating with Star 8, a tech company. It has flown at a height of 20 to 25 feet and is powered by six lithium-ion batteries that take around two and a half hours to charge. Designed as a one-seat flying car using multi-copter technology, the aircraft can carry a payload of 180 to 220 pounds. With a maximum speed of 60 miles per hour and a flight time of 15 minutes, this flyer is great for short personal flights across traffic. If you'd like to see more, just click the card in the top right corner or the link in the description.
If you enjoyed this video, you could help us out by hitting the like button, subscribe, and keep up to date on future posts.